from St. Harris Grand Local, undefeated at 37-0, returning state champion, sophomore Felipe Martinez. Here we go at 140 pounds, Division I state finals here in Ohio. We have Maslin Perry's Shane Foster, who knocked off defending champ Robert Shepard yesterday in semis. On a 4 through win, scored a late takedown and then held Shepard off to win. Foster is in the white for Maslin Perry. Perry's second finalist here we've seen tonight. And in the green, we have Randy Laguinas of Dublin City. Sayoto. Dublin Sayoto with a 49 and 4 record. Two time state placer, senior Randy Langus. Langus is 49 and 4 on the season. Foster comes in at 40 and 7. Both wrestlers are seniors right off the whistle. Langus scores. So, not how Foster wanted his state title match to start. Langless Really a great bill of finals we have at 40. Between Foster and Langless here, we've got Tugger Armstrong and Felipe Martinez on the mat next to me. And the format we have Cam Desari going for his third state title and three chances, all of which will be covered on Flow Wrestling. Langless trying to tilt. Foster sitting out. Can't get his hips cleared, so he's not going to be able to go anywhere. Langless trying to cradle. Now he's dropped down and has that ankle. Foster's going to stand up. If he can get his head free, that's one. It is now 37 seconds to go here in the first. Shane Foster trails Randy Langwis 2 to 1. Foster tries to shoot in on a high crotch. Gets Langwis slides in under hooks. Now is controlling the tie. Short offense situation here. You have 19 to go. <laughs> Foster's language forcing Foster's head down on the mat, trying to prevent any direction to go. We've got a stalemate now, eight seconds to go. 2 1 lead for Languis. Languis doing a good job getting wrist control, limiting what Foster can do offensively. You go to the second period, Randy Languis with a 2 1 lead. He'd be our first Columbus area wrestler to win a title here tonight. Foster from Perry, obviously one of the state powers. They're in third here, trailing a spectacular team race. Eds has a one and a half point lead after a fall in our last match by Loudon Gordon. Could be the deciding factor. We'll have to stay tuned the rest of the night for that. Perry, always a factor here in, in Division One. Like I said, has two kids win national titles this past decade, and Steve Luke and Dustin Schlater. Foster's deep in a shot, trying to see if he can elevate and come through, but Langwis keeping his head down on the mat. He can't really go anywhere. Perry also has the distinction of being one of, I think, 15 schools. 15 schools that have had multiple kids named A6 High School First Team All-Americans in this last decade. Again with Schlater and Luke. And there's an escape for Languis. So now his lead extends to 3-1. Ref asking for offense from two wrestlers. They're getting precariously close to going out of bounds. Go 
Going back to center now, 50 seconds left in the second. Randy Langlis leads Shane Foster three to one. Foster now in a short offense situation. First real advantage he's had in a tie up tonight. Langlis tries to shoot through hooks. That's not going to do him any good. Now Foster in a front headlock position. Trying to pull him back towards center. Give him their near the edge. He's going to run out of room to work with. 21 seconds left in the second period. Shane Foster trails Randy Langlis 3-1. Foster again, controlling the tie up. Langlis trying to stay square, not let Foster create any angles. That's what's going to get Langlis in trouble. End of the second, three to one lead for Randy Langlis of Dublin, Scioto. Foster's going to go under, try and cut it to a one takedown match. Langwis covers, and we're underway in the third period. Langwis immediately tries to get a little rebar, maybe work back points. Now works out to the opposite side. Has that? Has the far wrist trapped? Now trying to work the ankle. Has him broken down. Back points to really blow this wide open. Foster really can't go anywhere. That right arm is really tied up. Oh, now gets it free. He's going to step one to get out. Now he's got to work to a base. And we're going to get stalling on Lang. Lang was really just kind of riding parallel, trying to milk the clock. He burned 35 seconds so far. He leads three to one. Foster, certainly no stranger to close matches. As he is his largest lead of this tournament is two points, but he's going to need to get out from bottom if he's going to work more magic in tight matches. Now we're going to get a warning on Foster on bottom. He tries to sit out and peel the hand if he can get that hand peel. He's out for one. Under a minute to go. We saw Foster yesterday hit a late takedown, beating Robert Shepard. Let's see if he can hit that again. Likes to go to his high crotch. I think Lang your knows that, tries to double through hooks. That's nothing doing there. I think Languis knows that. He's seen him wrestle a couple times. At least I'm sure his coaches have. There's that high crotch, tries to dump. Good shot by Foster. No two yet as he's got to clear that. If he breaks that grip, he's getting two and there it is. Another late takedown for Shane Foster as he's going to go up. Now we've got locked hands. My locked hands on Foster. That'll tie things up as he has to ride him out for the final 20. A huge, huge technical violation for Foster. Locking his hands after the takedown. And he's got to ride for 20 otherwise. Langlis is up. Breaks the hands. There's the escape. 14 seconds to go. Takes a 5-4 lead. As Foster really has to get going. Another high crotch shot attempt. Spall has got seven seconds. Seven seconds to go. Shane Foster trails by one. And Langlis is going to win a state title here. Gets the escape. Shows us the belt. Randy Langlis wins the 140 pound state championship. 5-4, ever the slimmest of margins, as he's able to escape in the final 20 second and clinch his state title. As he gets a huge hug from his coaches. In a minute, brother. Get the Jubo. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Wow, what a match.